Okay, MD5 sums and modifying the send2. Follow the instructions here. Uh, locate the send2 folder, which I have, and create a shortcut into the inside it to MD5's MD5 sums uh, dash p. Pause for returning. I didn't add that. I just added the shortcut, and it worked just fine. So I'll show you how to do it yourself. Right click, new. Scroll over, go up to shortcut, and then we're going to browse to uh, my computer, into my local disk, into program files. If I hit M, it should take me right there. It does. MD5 sums, that's the app. Click OK, and click next to continue. MD5 sums is fine. Finish. Now it's there's my shortcut. Now I can go back to my Azuras file, which we were looking at just moments ago in a previous screencast. Program files, I'm already there. I want to go to my Azuras folder where I have my Edubuntu ISO. Type ISO. Right click. Send to and check that out. MD5 sums is waiting for us. I click on that. 21%, 43%, 65%, 87%, and right there, there is my MD5 sum, and I can show you that it is the correct one uh, by clicking on, going to the download, clicking on the download, pulling up the MD5 sum data, oh, it's right there, actually right here. MD5 sums. There is my number, magic number I'm looking for, and here it is as well. 4E77B. Alright, so very handy that being able to add a uh, shortcut to an application uh, for manipulating or doing MD5 sums or what have you. I'll have to explore this a little more to find out what other magical commands I can pass through. Um, XP, maybe spell check, maybe auto formatting tools. I don't know. I'll have to look around. But uh, gives you an idea how easy it is for you to do the same. Happy computing! And if you've got a better tip or trick, please feel free to share it on your own screencast. Thank you and good night.